episode of Unstoppable Equestrian. I'm Danielle Poulsen, Dressage Plus. And today I want to share with you a dressage tip to help you improve your position and also your core strength. And don't worry, it's not uh, a tip to, I'm not telling you to go do a million sit-ups or anything like that, not at all. Um, the tip today is actually about your elbows. And I know I've spoken about elbows before in episode number two where I talked about uh, flapping or clucking your elbows like a chicken uh, to help create the relaxation through your arms, through the back of your shoulders and also to eliminate or move on any tension that you might be holding and I definitely suggest, still suggest that <coughs> Excuse me. Um, really anytime you notice tension cluck your elbows out, relax your arms so that the reins feel softer to the horse's mouth and then to take that a step forward <coughs> excuse me, or to the next level uh, you want to then think about after you've clucked and, and relaxed your arms and your muscles in your arms you want to then think about tucking those elbows back into your side and this is really important the, the tucking back into your side uh, for two main reasons firstly obviously it looks so much better as in our position as a rider with our elbows tucked in and puts our hands in a really nice place for the horse and it just yeah it looks good on the eye and secondly and more importantly is that having your elbows tucked in rather than riding around with your with that air between your your elbows and your side <coughs> is that it strengthens your core when you ride and you've got your elbows sticking out you're quite there's nothing supporting you like obviously your, your tummy muscles are but you're not as supported through your body um, you're more easily going to be able to collapse or if the horse shies you're going to be a bit soft in the middle uh, and just by tucking into the side it really gives you that kind of <clears throat> strong sense through your, your middle and, and down into your seat and also it lifts your shoulders and puts you in a better position and whether you're on a young horse that maybe is a bit wobbly, so young or, in, or inexperienced, it'll really help kind of direct that wobbly horse out into <clears throat> to the contact and out in between two legs, two hips, two seat bones, two elbows and two reins. And also really useful exercise for maybe a tricky horse, so one that's challenging the forward and maybe taking that forward energy to sideways instead. I'm sure you can all think of a horse like that where you've <clears throat> been on a tricky horse and they're maybe trying to avoid and move sideways instead of take the energy forward. So really useful for a horse like that, getting those elbows tucked in, hands down together and being able to drive that horse forward through your seat and through your hips rather than elbows out and collapsing through the middle and then maybe coming a little onto the fork of your seat. So really useful for a young horse or, or a tricky horse as well. And just to keep in back of your mind, if, if you're riding around and it's starting to feel a little messy, the horse is, is not staying straight and forward, just, just look down at your hands and your elbows and notice what's going on. Are they kind of out to the side? And I know sometimes we do need to open our hands up and definitely move, move, help move the horse around. But if it's feeling messy and, <clears throat> and it's not going great, just check in. Can you bring, give your elbows a little cluck to bring in relaxation and then bring them in by your side. Lift your chest up and, and bring your hands down together. And just notice, does that help you get the horse up in front? And usually usually it does <laughs> um, so just playing around with that idea in your riding so a nice quick tip for you today nice quick video have a fantastic ride when you next get on your horse and I will see you next week bye